everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer. Today I'm gonna to be putting together what has become my, like, my favorite summer bronzed look. <laughs> As you can probably tell, I'm not uh, naturally somebody who bronzes, but I have a look down now that I've been doing um, <laughs> with some of the products that have come out recently. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Hey everybody, so it is a couple weeks away from official summer and uh, out here in Massachusetts, we're actually starting to get pretty warm. Um, we've had weird weather. It was like 94 degrees one day. And then when I came back from Nashville for my birthday, it was 55. Not really sure what's happening, but, but we are definitely getting into the quote summer season. You know, kids are off from school pretty soon up here and it's definitely getting warmer, etc., etc. So I have been kind of defaulting to what I call my summer look. Uh, I tend to wear less makeup in the summer. For me, I don't do well in heat, like at all. Um, some of you asked what I was wearing in Nashville. I'm actually gonna put together a, um, probably something on Instagram, like a lay flat about everything that I used. Um, but in essence, it's kind of like a, just a bronzy, simple look. And there's a couple of new products that have like lent themselves perfectly to that because let's face it, there's been tons of bronzers, tons of like bronzy eyeshadows, that type of thing. So. I'm gonna pull out what I have in front of me, Charlotte Tilbury, Chanel, Dolce & Gabbana, Sisley, Chantecai, oh, and Kosas, which is what I'm wearing on my face. This is the Kosas Foundation. I'm really liking the Kosas Foundation. This is, let's see, the Revealer Skin Improving Foundation, Broad Spectrum 25. I have it in shade. What shade do I have? That's a really good question. I will make sure I put it down below <laughs> because I can't, oh, here we go. Light Neutral 140. It's a really good shade for me because it it minimizes the, the pink of my skin without making my skin look yellow. So that's part of the problem. A lot of times I'll get foundations that, you know, they're, they're good for my, my pink undertone, my cool undertone, but they go too pink on me. This one is like almost like a beige. It's hard to explain, but it's got a little bit of like peach. Anyway, it's a really good shade for me. So if you're a shade match for me, the 140 neutral in the Kosas is excellent. I really, really like this foundation. Um, and I haven't had any problems with it. It doesn't dry out my skin. I think it looks really nice on. It gives great coverage, um, but it looks like dewy. Love it. Absolutely love this foundation. There's a bunch of foundations that I've just been really fond of lately. Uh, so anyway, um, what I'm gonna do is sort of do my bronzing up of my face. As you can see, I'm very pale. I don't like bronze, um, but in the summer I do like to look a little bronzer. Um, I have the Chanel dry oil, which I love, love that Mila Beige's dry oil. That's gorgeous, um, which I can put on. It doesn't really, it's, you know, it just gives like a little bit of warmth to my skin. Um, and I really like that. And I do have self tanners. I just don't use them very often because they never really look natural on me because I'm too pale. But anyway, I do like to at least bronze up my face a little bit. So let me pull my hair back. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna use, you've seen my, or hopefully you've watched my uh, bronzer video, my cream bronzer video, there's so many out there. And there's a number of ones that I really, really like. Um, it's hard for me to pick a favorite right now. At the end of the month, I will have what I consider the best and worst of summer. Um, that's coming soon. So you'll, you'll hear which ones I like the most, but I will say, I think the NARS, the Charlotte Tilbury, um, the Chanel, they're all really good. Like they're just, they're all good. I, I can't say any of them are bad. Which one's my favorite? Depends on, it depends on the day and depends on what we're talking about. But anyway, we'll get into that in a minute. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is this, this is Dolce & Gabbana. It's a Solar Glow Universal Radiance Drops. So you can add this to your foundation. Um, it's a very sheer, like this one has like an apricot color. I have one that has like a pink as well, but you can see it's like a golden, there we go, golden apricot color. And if you add this to your foundation, it's just, or put it underneath your foundation, you just get a little bit of a glow. What I've been doing is just taking a little teeny bit of it either putting it under my foundation or just kind of adding it to the, like the high points. It's got a beautiful smell to it. If you don't like perfume or scent, you won't like it, but it smells like um, um, tanning oil. 
it's really nice. It's really nice. So I love it for the smell, but again, not everybody loves, um, you know, scent in their makeup. But this one has, smells like tanning oil. It smells really good to me. Anyway, um, so you can see it just leaves like a little bit of a sheen on the skin, and it warms things up a little bit. It doesn't take away from the Kosas foundation, but I have seen like some of the foundations it will kind of not mix right, and so you take off some of the coverage. So if, if you want full coverage, put that underneath it. You can put it all over your face. You can just put it on the high points like I did, and then put the foundation over it and you'll get more coverage. Um, okay, so the next, like I said, this is gonna be a very bronzy, it's a very bronzy look. Uh, we're gonna take the um, Charlotte Tilbury. Now this isn't fair. This is her Glow Bronzer. You can use this on the body as well. There's a lot of product in here. Not as much as the Chanel, but close. Um, this one has, da, 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 where is the size? 0.74 ounces and the Chanel is one ounce. Um, so three quarters. And the fair on me looks, I think, best as basically a contour. It has like a mushroomy kind of shade to it. And I think it works really well as a contour product. I think personally, it's a little too cool um, to be a bronzer on me, but I think that is subjective. Um, you know, bronzer should be warm, um, but it doesn't have to be. You know, these rules that we come up with about makeup, there really aren't any rules. You, you do what you like. The reason you tend to pick a cooler color for, bron uh, for contour versus bronzer is contour is gonna like create shadows. Um, so that's why it's cooler. And bronzer is hitting the high points of your cheek. That's the issue. Um, but if you can have something like this one that's kind of bold, if you look at it, it's, it is cool, but it's not, it's not so gray that it can't work as a bronzer is what I'm saying. It just depends on your, you know, on what you like. Um, let me um, grab a brush. Um, I am feeling much better. Um, I am still reco recovering. I will say for any of you who've, you know, gone through the, the whole COVID thing, it takes forever, or at least it's taking forever for me um, to just like really fully recover. I'm still just like so tired. Um, and uh, winded and just like, I still can't like get my full sense of smell isn't completely back. So uh, it's taken a while and I appreciate your patience. Um, and I know my upload schedule is a little weird because I traveled for, um, for my 50th, but also when I got back, my computer lost its ever loving mind. And uh, I was trying to get a video up like a regular schedule on uh, Saturday at 9 a.m. and the thing would just, I mean, my computer was like, no. <laughs> it's like, okay, well, it's fine. Uh, I finally got it to work and uh, I think I figured out what the issue is. But any of you who uh, have dealt with that before, you know, like you're just, there's nothing you can do. You're just like, I'm at the mercy of, yeah, there's nothing I can do. Uh, so anyway, so that is the fair. And like I said, I think it does impart, let me get a little bit closer. I think it does impart a bronzing look to the face. And especially for someone like me who's pale, I think this is a great shade. I think the fair is really nice. It does blend right in. It's really, it, it lasts. It, it, it does make your skin feel good. Um, it does blur. It does perfect the skin, just like it says. It's probably one of my favorite products from Charlotte Tilbury. Um, you know, Charlotte Tilbury in the beginning has some like iconic ones that I love. In the last couple of years, it's kind of been hit or miss, but this one is absolutely a hit. It, it's an excellent product. And when I compare it in the bronzing video with NARS and Chanel, I actually think there's quite a few similarities to be honest with you, but um, it's a really good product. If you decide to go with this, absolutely would, um, it, I would absolutely endorse it. The fair, like I said, is a little bit cooler. I do have the medium um, as a, um, a bronzier shade, but today I'm gonna use a different bronzer. So I'm using the cream as the contour. As a bronzer, I'm gonna use the Chanel Le Beiges. This is in medium. I talked about this in my Le Beiges video and um, I did not pick up the light. I have the medium and I have the deep. The, the light was so light that I was just like, it just, it was almost not worth it, like to me. I was just like, it doesn't really, 
It was, and it was yellowish. Anyway, it just wasn't for me. So I picked up the, the medium and the deep and I love the medium. The deep I love too, because it has like a redder undertone. It's a little too deep for me, but honestly I can make it work. But today we're going to use the medium. Like I said, this has kind of been my like to go, like, like I've been just trying to look, you know, healthy. Cause let's face it, I haven't been. <laughs> so I'm like, Oh, I'll bronze up my skin and I'll look like, you know, I'm healthy. And actually it's worked because everyone's like, oh, you look great. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I feel terrible. But you know, as long as I look okay, well, that's what matters. Um, so yeah, I really, like if you're looking for an easy kind of like healthy summer glow, this is, this is what I've been doing. And at least it works for me. I don't know if it'll work for you, but I'm loving it. Okay, so those steps are done. And I do have my um, brows done. I just have a little bit of pencil on my brows. Okay, so next step is blush. And the blush I have is not available in the US. It is available in Europe. This is the Dolce & Gabbana. This is the new shade, or shades I guess I should say. It's the Solar Glow Illuminating Powder Duo in Tender Apricot. This is a very like almost orangey shade and this is pink. You can blend them together. I will show you what they look like separately. The, the pink is a very, very light very light, like a highlighting kind of pink. And then the orange has like almost like a peachy pink. It reminds me of Tara Lynn's new lipstick shade. Um, it's very similar to that. And in fact, it looks really good with that if you have both, just saying. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do is gonna put on a little bit of the um, highlighter first. You don't have to use this as highlighter and blush. It's a powder duo. You can use it in any way that you want. Um, but I like to put the pink down because the pink has a little bit more like, almost like a little shimmer. Can you see that? And then I have the solar glow underneath it, which is just like, it's just perfect. Put a little bit there. And then I take the bright shade and I don't use much of that because on me, it is really bright. So I just use a tiny bit and I just kind of pounce it in like this, like that. And then, buff it out. And it just looks like really healthy. And in a way, and this is gonna sound a little funny, but it looks like I got kind of like a little bit of a, a sunburn without actually damaging my skin. Which I think, in a, it's, I know it's like damaging to get a sunburn and I, I'm not telling you to get a sunburn. Don't get a sunburn, it's bad for you. Um, but it kind of looks that way. You'll see when I put my hair down, it just looks healthy and vibrant. Um, and it's just nice, it's just nice. All right, so then, this actually goes pretty quick if you're doing it, like when I do it all at once, like when I don't actually spend time explaining it, it's pretty fast. These are the new uh, Sicily eyeshadows, the liquid eyeshadows. And the shades that I picked up, I think are copper and bronze. Yeah, the shades I picked up are copper and bronze. Copper's two, bronze is five. And I will show you these on the back of my hand. They are perfect, in my opinion, for like a summer look. Um, they're super light, they're easy to go on. I'm gonna do two steps today. I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna put a powder over it. But you could easily do this in one step. You do not need anything over these. So this is the copper, this is the bronze. The bronze is a little deeper. Um, you let it dry down and absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna put the copper on my eyes today. It's a little bit lighter because I'm gonna put something over it. Um, but like I said, you could easily just do this as a one and done. So I'm going to do this really quickly, let it dry down, and then I'll show you what the step is after this. Okay, we're back. Let it dry down. I put on a little bit of lip liner. It's just the um, Chantecaille Lip Liner in Natural, one of my favorites, because I just want to keep it, like I said, really simple. All right, so we're going to take, this is the Chantecaille. Now, I've heard a lot from you guys. This is the Sunbeam Cheek and Eye Shade. This is in Ray. I have heard from both sides on this one saying some people love this product, love it. And some people hate it because of the packaging. I actually heard from two people who actually bought it specifically because of the packaging and they love the packaging. Like I said, guys, everybody has their own personal preference. Never, or at least I will never um, say that something is, if you love it, then you love it. And that should be all that, that should be all that matters to you. If you love something, don't let anyone ever tell you that you don't have a right to love it. Because if you love this packaging and it's for you, a fantastic. Um, I don't love the packaging, but I love the product. I have to say, this is really good. It is very expensive for what it is. And so for those of you who are like, uh, liked the product when I used it, 
Um, hopefully there'll be a sale and there will be Sylvie's sale in the summer. I, um, I can't give you dates, but everything is usually 30% off. I don't know if this one will be part of it or if it'll even be available, but you can wait for sales. John Takai does have sales sometimes, not often. Um, but hopefully this will be on sale for those of you who want to pick, who want to pick it up, but just don't feel like the price tag is in, you know, what you feel comfortable with. But I have to say the product itself is excellent. Um, especially as a one and done on the eye, it's just beautiful. So what I've been doing is I've been taking the Sicily and I also been using the Armani the same way. And then I've just been taking this and putting it on top. You can absolutely use this by itself. You do not need to put anything underneath it. The only reason I've been doing this is I feel like in the summer, um, when your makeup is kind of like sweating off your face, maybe it's only me that happens to, um, <laughs> when you put down like the cream product first and then you put the powder over it, it's similar to like that when you do that with, um, you know, um, uh, uh, blush. It just seems to stay longer and I get a more intense look and it just doesn't come off. Um, I've been doing this ever since I pretty much got this shade. So it's been like a month and I just love the way this looks. I just think it looks really summery, really bronzy, really beautiful, and it just doesn't come off. Like I, I can wear this all day and not have to worry about it. So for me, like this is, like this is the most of like what I do. I'm like, this is what I've been doing. But anyway, uh, so I really do like the shade. Calorie. This is the Calorie uh, liner in uh, Secret Secret Spot. Is that the name? Secret Spot. Okay. Anyway, it's brown. Um, so I just take a little bit of the liner and I kind of concentrate on the outer corner because again, I'm doing this, like this kind of summery light look. So I just put all the color and a little bit underneath the eye as well on the lower lash line. But I really don't bring it in more than I would say like a half an inch, I just keep it on the outside of the eye. Because I feel like it just looks more, I don't know what the word is, it's just, it's not as elaborate, it looks simpler to me, which I know simpler isn't always better, but in the summer I really feel like it is. Like, I just am a less is more kind of person a lot of the time, but especially in the summer. All right, so let me curl my lashes really quickly. Okay, so we put some mascara on, we've got the liner on. That's the only thing I added. And I have to say guys, like, don't you see, like, it looks, at least to me, like, you know, from the beginning, I look like, ooh, I'm a little bit like sun-kissed. I never got to be sun-kissed, guys, because like, I don't tan. But anyway, this is my version. Um, so then we're gonna use the uh, Chantecai. This is one of their new um, Brain Is Gone lip tints. Yeah, okay, mm, I knew I'd get there eventually. This is in Marigold, and uh, it's really pretty sheer. It's like, it's got like a peachy pink, actually. Really comfortable. The lip tints remind me a little bit of Lip Veils and Lip Cheeks. I mean, they have that kind of formula. Very moisturizing, just like comfortable on the lips. It's the kind of thing that I tend to wear year round, but especially in the summer. I don't do a heavy lip in the summer. I just can't handle it. I think my lips are too dry and they feel heavy with like anything, you know, heavy on it. I'm also loving the Tara Lynn, uh, Christian Odette, um, uh, partnership that they did together. I really like that lip combo as well. So this is it. This is my bronzed up summer look. Um, like I said, relatively simple to do, but I think it looks really pretty, really healthy. Um, this has kind of been my go-to. This is what I've been wearing. Uh, you know, I have all this makeup and this is kind of what I've wanted to do because again, when it's hot out and it's, you know, summer, like I want to look nice. I want my skin to look healthy and glowy and all those things, but I don't, I don't get healthy and glowy setting in the sun. I get red, splotchy and burnt in the sun. So this is my way of like, frankly, faking it because, you know, other people will sit out in the sun and get gorgeous tan. My husband has a beautiful, like turns this beautiful golden color. I do not do that. So for me, I can, you know, do this. And this is kind of my, my take on that, on that golden look without getting any sun damage and protecting my skin from the sun as well, because vitamin D is very important, but also 
you want to make sure you're wearing your SPF and you, you don't uh, damage your skin. So that is the final look for today. I will have all the details in the description box. And if you have any questions, certainly let me know. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. Hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.